फाइव सेकेंड टू सेकेंड रेडी मिस्टर डिप्टी स्पीकर सर आई एम थैंकफुल टू यू फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग मी टाइम टू एक्सप्रेस माय व्यूज देयर इज नो डाउट दैट दिस ईयर द कंट्री कन्फ्रंटेड द मोस्ट टेरिबल ड्रॉट ऑफ द कंट्री आउट ऑफ द थर्टी फाइव मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिविजन्स इन द कंट्री ट्वेंटी वन डिविजन्स हैव बीन अफेक्टेड बाय ड्रॉट सम एरियाज वर अफेक्टेड बाय अदर नेचुरल कैलमिटीज आल्सो थैंक्स टू दिस डिपार्टमेंट एंड इट्स ऑफिसर्स एंड स्टाफ हु मेट दिस सिचुएशन सक्सेसफुली आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेड दैट नो बडी इन द कंट्री विल बी अलाउड टू डाई ऑफ स्टारवेशन देयर इज नो डाउट अबाउट इट दैट दिस कमिटमेंट हैज बीन ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू एक्शन इट इज आ डिफरेंट थिंग इफ वी मेक क्रिटिसिजम बट द गुड जॉब डन बाई द डिपार्टमेंट कैन नॉट बी वेलीड आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेट दैट वी विल नॉट एलाउ इन्फ्लेशन टू क्रॉस टू डिजिट्स द होल क्रेडिट गोज टू दिस डिपार्टमेंट विच अधेड टू द एश्योरेंस गिवेन बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर दिस ईयर द रेट ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन हैज इंक्रीज बाय एट पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट इट मे बी रिकॉल्ड दैट ड्रॉट हैड अकर्ड इन सम एरियाज इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी नाइन आल्सो एट दैट टाइम द रेट ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन हैड गॉन अप बाय ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट एट परसेंट इफ यू गो थ्रू द वर्क डन बाय आवर गवर्नमेंट यू विल फाइंड दैट डिफरेंस द ट्रूथ कैन नॉट be believed i agree with you that there are hardships before us but it is also true that this department has made efforts to remove these hardships at the time this problem confronted the country we had 23 million tons of food grains in our stock but now the stock has declined due to concerted efforts of our government the farmers and the scientists the rabi crop especially wheat has been very good now it is necessary for us to make maximum procurement we should ask the state governments and cooperative institutions to procure more and more wheat the government should also reconsider its decision about fixation of the price of wheat at rupees 175 per quintal because whenever there is a hardship the price rises i do not want to repeat the points made by my colleagues i request the government to pay attention towards the price factor also at present the biggest problem before us is that the allocations of food grains made to the states are held up at the state level i do not want to criticize anybody but it is a fact that even after allotment made by the center the states did not lift their quota 
यू मे टेक द इंस्टेंस ऑफ वीट राइस शुगर एनी थिंग यू लाइक इन स्पाइट ऑफ दैट द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इन डर्ज इन प्रोपोगेंडा इन दियर स्टेट्स विच इज बेसलेस I definitely remember that the government of West Bengal did not lift several commodities allocated to them by the center. If you want, I can furnish the figures. Our honorable minister will give the figures. When something is sent at the state level, and some problem arises we have to become practical about it and the question of state center relations has also to be kept in view hence simply sending directives to the states will not serve any purpose the government must evolve some monitoring system the department of civil supplies should make such arrangements in which food grains supplied from the central pool to the states could be effectively controlled today i feel distressed to disclose that palm oil is being sold in the market openly and it is not available to villagers the same is the position with regard to janata cloth what i mean to say is that food grains and other commodities allocated to the states are not being made available to the people the government should ensure that various commodities allocated by it reach the common man i know that directives are issued to states by the central government from time to time letters are also sent by the prime minister and the minister of food and civil supplies but the states do not pay any heed to these directives our former prime minister shrimati indira gandhi had formulated a 14 point program with a view to strengthening the public distribution system but i am sorry to say that several state governments do not pay heed to this program there are clear instructions from the central government that a fair price shop should be opened for every 2000 units in spite of that there are several tribal difficult and remote areas where this policy is not being followed due to this the poor people do not get the benefits of our policies our prime minister and the government said that food grains will be provided to tribals and poor people at cheap rates the areas having more than 50% tribal population get ration at cheap rates but the areas having less than 50% tribal pro population do not get any such facility i demand that all weaker and backward sections must get these facilities 
आना यूनिफॉर्म बेसिस